Hi, I'm Ravi, Ravi Handa. I'm the founder of the website handakafanda.com where I teach a few online courses. Now, this is a math GCSE question about Hana Suites. It deals with probability and for some reason it is going viral. It is very simple, it is very basic, but somehow mashable things, it's funny. And so I thought that I'll make a solution for this. So here it goes. We are given that there are N sweets in a bag. Six of the sweets are orange and the rest of the sweets are yellow. Hannah takes a random sweet from the bag. She eats it. Hannah then takes another random sweet from the bag. She eats that one as well. The probability that Hannah eats two orange sweets is one by three. So the randomly, what's the probability of her picking the first sweet, which is an orange? There are six orange sweets out of a total of n. So the probability is 6 by n. Then for the next one, the next time when she picks, there are 5 orange sweets left. The total number of sweets left then is n minus 1. And we are given that the overall probability, which is Pa into Pb in case of independent events, is given to me as 1 by 3. So that is what we need to solve. 6 into 5 is 30. 3 goes to the other side becomes 90 is equal to n into n minus 1 or n square minus n, which gives us the equation as n square minus n minus 90 is equal to 0. And that is essentially what we had to prove and we can do that very easily from basic probability principles. I still don't know why this scared so many people. A further extension of this would be what is an actual value of the total number of sweets n? Well, for that you will need to solve this quadratic this will be n minus 10 into n plus 9 is equal to 0. Now, that means n or the number of sweets has to be 10. The other part will give me the value as minus 9, but number of sweets cannot be minus 9. So, the number of sweets which were originally there were 10. Six of them were orange and the other four were yellow. So, I hope I was able to clarify the problem on Hannah's sweets. Don't forget to check out my website handagafanda.com where I teach a few online courses. Thank you.